Hello everyone, this is John Ward with the Appalachian Channel and we're here in Poplar Grove at Mitchell Cosby's store and he has had a store here over in this little building back in the early 70s when he was 12 years old and we're here with Douglas Seal from Pickers Paradise and actually this is another episode of Pickers Paradise and so we're out on the road today. Beautiful day. Beautiful it's day. Finally a beautiful day. I told Doug we got to get out of the warehouse and get out and find some places that's interesting. And he found this place for us, and we're here today. And we're going to hear a little bit of story of how Mitchell has been collecting from all the local stores in Claiborne County in the tri-state area and saving up stuff that's disappearing in Appalachia. We ain't seen it no more. And a lot of it he's bought from Doug. And he uh, my good my stuff broker. every time. <laughs> And if y'all followed uh, Doug on the uh, Netflix show, yeah. Swap Shop, you'll see this sign down here, yep. the production credit sign. He bought that on that show. You see, where, this is where it ended up, right here, right <laughs> here Cosby. I, I want to make sure that it never left Claiborne County. So, so anything I want to keep here in Claiborne County, he I, call me. Me, I call Mitchell first, because yeah. he's a huge historian. I mean, he uh, if it gets to him, he don't sell it, and it, it'll be here forever. That's what we want. Yeah, yeah, we've been looking at some of the stuff inside, and we're getting ready to go back in and, and show some of the stuff that's of interest here. There's an old moonshine still in here, and uh, uh, and Kaz Walker, many people watching my show, because they won't know who Kaz Walker is, because it's kind of an East Tennessee character, but boy, he was a character back in the 60s, wasn't he? He sure was. Who did he discover that everybody should know? They should know this. Dolly Parton. That's where Dolly Parton came was the Kaz yeah, Walker yeah. show out of East Tennessee. And he's got one of his suits in here, yeah. the Kaz Walker suit. So we're going to go in and he can tell us a little bit about the history and the things he's collected. And like I said, he started, he's redone this building over here now. But when he was 12 years old in the early 70s, his dad let him start selling out of that. And he started selling pop and potato chips and, and different things. And he still got some of those items that he used back then, the old cooler and the and showcase and different things. So come on with us. Let's go in and take a look. You know, it's crazy. Five degrees last week. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was five <laughs> degrees. Day, five 60 degrees. Day. 60, yeah, wow. absolutely. Museum. You going first? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going first. All right. Every time I get to here. Yeah. Okay, so we was in here earlier and you guys were talking about this sign. Tell us a little bit about this, what's going on. Uh, where'd that sign come from? I think that came from your store, Doug. My store, yeah. I bought that one day. I was going to hang it up the next day and uh, came in. Jennifer said, it's Mitchell so. bought it. Done so. <laughs> go. Done so. I'm so excited to hang that sign up. <laughs> and that came from uh, one of the local mayors? Yeah. Uh, yep. That ain't my landlord that time. Oh. Uh, uh, they own the building and... Uh, she brought us some load of stuff coming out of the attic. I don't know if she was cleaning it out or she's mad at Bill or whatever, but we got a whole bunch of local stuff that day. That's great. I didn't realize that came from Mayor Fannin. Yeah. Well, right here's something interesting, Mitchell. This old uh, scales. Boy, I used to see them out in front of those five and dime stores. And uh, uh, where'd you say that came from? Yeah, that that's a local piece there. That came from Middlesbrough, Kentucky. Uh, I know it's gone now, but that used to sit in front of the oh. old Woolworth downtown, right there where they have the Levitt series. This would have told you fortune too. Weight and fate, I believe yeah. is what they weight say. Fate, yeah. So yeah, tell you fortune, your weight. So just put a yeah. penny in it. Reading, I believe if anything popular now, because nobody wants to know what they was. I'd say you're probably <laughs> right. <laughs> you make a lot of sad uh, people out there. That's true. <laughs> so true. One of them. Yeah. Coke machine. Coke machine. This came from. Uh, a local store here, a general store out in Fort Ridge, uh, Della Hill, that, that was hers. And uh, these counters was hers also, that was in her old store. About 50s, I'd say. I'd say so, 50s, yeah. And it, it was like cool by water. It would have water yeah, down yeah. in the bottom of it. You'd set your Cokes in there, it's full of stuff. But oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a <storage>. order. <laughs> it's a storage place. So. But, uh, that is cool there. That's yeah. a real good so these old counters are interesting. Both these counters are a matching set. Yeah, they're a matching set. They came together, and they came from a local store right right in the Forge Ridge area. So, um, uh, yeah, that was that was a good piece to, to get there. And I hated to see them, you know, get gone someday. And, and I thought maybe how long ago was it that that short store shut that, down? That store was open probably in the seventies. Also, uh, probably shut down maybe the late seventies or something late like 70. that. Because when I was in school at Forge Ridge, it was still in operation. But uh, yeah, and there's a few local pieces that went with my store. This old Mountain Dew clock that that was in my my store. Mountain Dew stuff is so hard to come by. It is. It sure is. And, uh, and I don't know why they just don't make enough of it, or did not make enough of it back in the day. Probably not. Yeah. 
No Mountain Dew is was created in Knoxville, Tennessee. Not many people know that. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, that's, that's the creator. I can't remember the date, but uh, they sold it to Pepsi, and it moved to Johnson City. Oh, okay. There. But it was created and manufactured in Knoxville, Tennessee. How, How about that? Yeah, I've heard that too. I'd be interested to do a, yeah. a video on that. I'd love sometime. to find out more information about that. I yeah. thought that's so cool. So you were showing us some of this uh, Prince Albert stuff that you got. Prince a, Albert, that box up there came from my store back in the, uh, I guess, the seventies, and this uh, camel. And it's full, still full. Full cans in there. Full cans, yeah. So what? What made you back when you was twelve years old decide I'm gonna keep a box of this? Did you know it one day it'd be collectible or what? I had no clue. I just thought it was so cool that box Prince Albert. My papa used to smoke Prince Albert, and I just thought, wow, that'd be something neat to keep, but. He was a collector from birth. I was. I was. I, I, know, I know Mitchell long enough. I know he was a collector by, from birth. I love it. So you was uh, you was talking about that, uh, with how you had uh, run, started the store when you was 12, but once you started college, you kind of shut the store down. I sort of let it, yeah, I shut it down, and, and then uh, after college, I opened it back up for a little while, but not long. Just, you know, just a place to, I guess, get together and pick bluegrass music, and, and we'd collect stuff, you know, when something would come available, we'd try to put it in here, and uh, just try to preserve it because I hate to see that stuff get gone. Well, uh, I just can't even buy them no more. Probably not. They pipe cleaner. Pipes. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. So. That's me. 31 cents back in that day. I tell you, you can't buy nothing no. for 31 no, they cents. They went a lot to pay that's cool. Yeah. So, yeah, we've got, uh, the, we're talking about these scales. You, you uh, bought them local, too. Yeah, that's a local piece there. We got that uh, at the uh, local farmer's co-op in, in Tazewell. Uh, they were sitting back in the corner, I guess, hadn't been used in a long time, and I asked the manager if he would be interested in selling them. He said, sure, how much you give me? And, or I asked him how much he'd take, and he said, 20 bucks too much? And I said, heck no. So <laughs> that's I went actually ahead. probably truly a two-owner right there. I'd say you're right. That's yeah. had, because this never had advertisement. Yeah. If this was at a grocery store, it would have had different advertising. Yeah, yeah. But somebody would have came in like Moxie or something like that. And, uh, yeah. It's like a painted advertisement they put in there. You can never get it off. They're cool. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, that's a good set of scales there. And this old counter here came from a local <laughs> store here, a grocery store, Wiley Longworth's uh, uh, store right out the road here. I've had those for several years too. Back when I had my store, I used that in it too. Oh wow! So, How about that? So you was buying stuff even as a kid. Started was, collecting as a kid. That's true. I was. Yeah. Okay, this is cool, guys. Talk about this second. This is the old rolling store that I was telling you about uh, that my dad used to work on when he was a teenager. This is him standing right here, and that's Wiley Longworth's son, Junior. And they drove this old school bus throughout the community. Look at that live chicken he's holding. He, he's, there. You can't see it getting the picture, but so they <laughs> they sold chickens off of the rolling store. Well, huh? they 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 called it. The bus. That's the old bus, bus but it's years. it's gone now. And I got the old grill that came out of it. Oh, did this you? This is an old keepsake. But how long did your dad do that? He done that probably two or three years, and they would put those chickens in that crate, something like that, and put them underneath the bus. Yeah. And they underneath call it, it underneath <laughs> it. They would call it trading. See, folks would bring. She brought her eggs and trade it for for merchandise. And I think my dad called this lady here Miss Friday. I think that was in the Indian Creek community. Ah, but so she, yeah, that's that's something you bring that up. A lot of people, the older people, always say we're going go to trade. The trade, yeah, yeah. And it's true. You really yeah. went to trade. She would trade a chicken and her eggs or whatever for coffee and sugar and. Uh, so she's giving him the chicken then. That's yeah, what's going yeah, on. She's, she's not buying the chicken. She's giving she's it. She's selling it to him and, and eggs. She brought eggs too. So oh yeah, that's, that's cool. A true merchant back. That's in the day, true. Right? That's he, true. Yeah. He made A to B and become C somehow. <laughs> it's, it's just amazing how things like that worked out. But yeah, and, and then we got a little tobacco, I guess memorabilia here. That's that's how we sort of got started. That's how I started my store from. Growing tobacco, uh, my dad would always give us a little money at Christmas time out of working in the tobacco, and that's how I started my store with my uh, money that year, and uh, it was uh, it was fun. I, I'm glad I did it. Uh, <laughs> right there, I'm going to become very collectible, guys. I'm buying every one I can get my hands. Signs. On. Uh, red Man. Oh, Red Man. Yeah, you that's know, true. It's not called Red it's Man. It's not called Red Man anymore. That's American's true. American's best. American's best. They changed yeah. the name about a year ago. Yeah. That's going to make that pretty highly collectible now. Yeah. And, and we, we grew so much tobacco on this farm, my dad and my brothers, and this was the old grading bench that we would put in the oh. barn. It's still got the hose in it, and we thought, 
Let's save that. That's, that's made a lot of money. That them holes, them, you put a stick in there, and that's how you separated your grades. How yeah. many grades did y'all grade? We would kid? grade four most four, of the time, yeah. or five, but then at the end, we were down to three. Yeah, like yeah. Your, your trash, they call it, and your seconds, and your tips. Yeah, I've not grown up that pretty much with three. Pretty yeah, much. three. I've heard yeah. five and six somehow. No. Yeah, but it was it was our heritage, and we, we grew a lot of tobacco here on this. That's this cool if you was able to hold on to that. Yeah, that's, that's precious. And, Something we can, and that's our old hand setters that we used Those here on the farm. Miserable, miserable. Oh my day. gosh, I tell you. <laughs> I hate using them. Those, those, you know, you look back and you enjoyed being with your family and, and neighbors and all working together, but boy, that was hard work. I'm glad it's over. That's a really good sign. Yeah. I, I never saw that before. Yeah. Clay, tobacco, seed. But I, I like the teenage girls out there topping tobacco. Uh, topping tobacco. <laughs> That's awesome. I that's know. Awesome. You won't see that no more. Where do your moonshine still come from? Well, that's a local piece there, too, that we obtained through uh, the, the local uh, sheriff's department. It was confiscated here back, oh, really? back several years ago, and, and it was okay to release it to put it in this museum, sort of. Yeah. And, uh, God, that thing was hand-beating everything. Yeah. There's, a, there's an old old lady that had it under her under her house or under her porch that she made moonshine out of. and Close by? Close by, yeah. I don't know who you talk about. Right here, <laughs> right here close by. So, yeah, it's it's uh, been used. I'd love to do a video about her. She's got a lot of history. Yeah. Now, what, the, what did the locals call her? Hog lady. Like, hog, hog woman. Yeah. Hog, hog woman. Hog woman. Yeah. She, she raised hogs and uh, made moonshine. She made moonshine. Oh, big old hogs, too. I've never seen them hogs. Yeah. Uh, her house was like in center. The hog was entered in the yard. Right. And run under the house and everything. Oh, she'd grow hog feet eight foot long. The biggest thing is like cars running around there. <laughs> yeah, they were big ones, that's for sure. That's so for this sure. is the area right in here. I guess y'all play some music we in here. Pick here. Just sit around and have a good time and uh get come from Piggy Paradise, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> they did come from there. That's from uh, up Bria, in Kentucky. Kentucky. Bria, Kentucky. Kentucky. That's where that right came there. from. It's uh, uh the Deacons cheer because how they kind of uh, curved. Yep. I made those a more unique. Yeah. You got a nice old wood stove or coal stove, or there wood a difference stove. in them? Oh, that's. Uh, I guess uh, you can use coal or wood, either one in that we have. But that's a local piece too that came from the old Shawnee Depot. Oh, really? Yeah. That was used probably in the twenties and thirties. They rebuilt that depot some years back. They did. A library. The city bought it, and it's a library now for the city of Harrogate. So. So you might want. It's not far from here. We might. Uh, might be on this video. I'm gonna take it by there and take a picture of it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah that's cool. interesting. It's yeah, about five minutes out of your way there. Yeah. Sure, we'll get a picture of that. Uh, see where that came from. Do you still use this? We still use this. Uh, yeah. really? Like especially like days like today or tonight. And we, we're gonna pick have a jam session tomorrow, so okay. we'll be we'll be torquing it up here after a while. Look how you've got real red. It's gotten hot a few times. I, see, I saw them things. Look at them. They get real hot. They shrill out. It has gotten hot. That's for sure. Uh, my daddy blew these things off many a day. Yeah. <laughs> get it too hot. Yeah. But. What about this barber chair over here? Was it is a local find? That's a local find too. That's from uh, in from Middlesbrough also. Uh, my brother's wife's family, I think, was a. Um, her uncle or somebody in her family was a, a barber, and they used that. That was his chair. Right, look at that guy. So, he got the old sharpening scrap. Yeah, you can <laughs> sharpen that knife. Sharpen that razor, yeah. And they have any idea up to what year they used that chair? I'd say probably 70s, 60s, 70s, probably. Now we got uh, uh, some uh, old radios up here. Now that's something I like, the radios. Yeah. You got uh, seems like you like them too. I love them too. Yeah, we collect them every now and then. And that one came from a uh, a guy that used to be sheriff of Claiborne County. That bottom one right there. Okay. Uh, no. Uh, Bruce Steele. He's Bruce Steele. He's passed. Yeah, no, but I'm he was a sheriff. Bruce. He he gave me that to put in the yeah. store and. Uh, Bruce was a good old guy. He was a good yeah. feller. I really miss him. Yeah. Now we talk, I think we might have talked about this earlier. This is a. a a suit that belonged to Kaz Walker. That was his actual actual suit that he had tailor made just for him. Really? It's a Kaz Walker. And he was suit. he was oh, a he character. Was a he was a character too. He was a local merchant. He was uh, Knoxville. He had several stores in Knoxville and throughout Kentucky. And and he was a politician, a merchant, a coon hunter. He was had he, a, a TV show come on. Sunday had a TV morning. show, and I would get up every morning to watch that show. It would come on at five o'clock, and then they switched it to six, and it was called the Caswalker Farm and Home Hour. Yeah. 
So it was. Uh, it was had like little advertisements. Had, and had advertisements. And and local singers. Bluegrass singing and just local. Well, I singers. said it earlier, but who who got discovered there? Dolly Parton was discovered. Uh, God, she's like young, like just she's a on teenager. His knees, yeah, anyway. just a yeah. teenager. Yeah, and you know, she'd make different appearances on his show yep. and stuff, and that's where she was basically discovered. That's where she was discovered at. Yeah, Kaz Walker. A lot she's of people watching that's outside of East Tennessee don't know probably Kaz Walker, but they know Dolly Parton. So this right here yeah. gives them an idea. This yeah. is the man that that to uh, help uh, launch her career. Yeah. That's how different people's lives can test different people's lives. That's true. See that's where, true. See where it leads to. Yeah. He's been dead too many years. Not too awfully long. Uh, um, say 10 years ago maybe oh uh, probably something like that i got to meet him a couple times oh did you really yep that's awesome. i had a couple good pictures with him and anything cat walker related i've had a few little small oh pieces. it goes yeah it goes it, it, you don't have it no time for it's gone i've got a good collection of his stuff anyway what, what, what he say he's always built his stores on the right side of the highway on the right side yeah. i think and always have some kind of gimmick give yeah. away something oh he done great commercials like uh i remember one where uh Somebody come in looking for a bear. So I'll be right back. He goes outside with a shotgun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like he's going bear hunting. Yeah. There's still clips of him on YouTube that you Myers, can catch. There's some pretty yeah. good ones on yeah, there. Yeah. You, from his show. Yeah. And because he got upset one time, so somebody was uh, harassing the women that coming yeah. into a store. And yeah. he got on there and told them he was going to whoop their butt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uncle. Yeah. Him and his wife yeah. but, uh, went on the show. Him and his wife, yeah. But he does the most kind of. Uh, for today, the most comedic commercials that we filed. Yeah. He's groundbreaking. So true. For, look that guy up there. Jake Butcher. Jake Butcher, when <laughs> he's running for governor. Yeah. There's our boy, David Ray. David Ray. You got a Bill lot Hurst. of uh, Bill Hurst. You got our voter, our voting beef over here. We got an old voting machine here that was used actually in this district. It's it's not even been cleared off. The boats haven't. It's, uh, it was when uh, Bill Clinton and Bob Dole were running for president, which Bill Clinton won the election, but Bob Dole won this district because it's oh, a Republican okay. district. So, red state, red, red state. state, yeah. Hey, I saw this before. I know where it came from. Oh yeah, that came from your store yeah. too. That's yeah. a local uh, Knoxville piece yeah. there that came from a Eastern State Hospital. It was like a, yeah. a uh, mental institution yeah. in Knoxville, yeah. and um, many years it was operation. I don't think they did. That's a cool piece right there. Cool yeah. Piece. Yeah, you got a little bit of everything. Yeah, a little bit of everything. That's from a local physician here, Doc Ellis, mm -hmm. some of his stuff. And Roadrunner, nice box. Yeah, that was my brother's when he was a kid. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all keep everything good. I tell you. <laughs> you got any lunch boxes from a kid? Or is any of these lunch boxes uh, yours? Or? Mine was here somewhere. Let's see. Mine was... What uh, your say on it? Uh, see if I can find it here. Well, that's even in here or not. I thought it was in here, but I guess not. Your political stuff goes on forever. Yeah. This, this has actually got one of my signs. I run for county commission here. So. Well, you are. The county commissioner. County commissioner. Yeah. 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 Uh, not many people know this, but uh, he's the justice of the peace that married me and Jim. Oh, that is right. That's right. <laughs> He's my preacher man. Uh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I hitched you guys, didn't I? That was a fun day. That it was a beautiful wedding. We, we played. Uh, we got married down at uh, Cumberland Gap. Cumberland Gap. Played a little bluegrass yeah. blue music and just Your had a good time. My wife yep. was uh, playing the mandolin. Uh, uh, fiddle, uh, the, uh, fiddle. The fiddle. The yep. fiddle. The marching dance. Yeah. Uh, I've never had to hurt it down on the fiddle, but it was beautiful. Yeah. That was a really nice little wedding. It was neat. Now, you said this Mountain Dew sign you had on your little store. That Mountain Dew sign was on my store, but it had came from another local store here up in Big Spring Union. It was Max Other's old store. And Can't see it too good from here. Let me go over this way just a minute, Doug. Right. What year do you think that come from, guys? That would have know? been probably back in the 60s, yeah, I guess, 60s. Doug. Now, the earlier versions of that, the colors were different. They were purple. Oh, that's right, yeah. The, the original uh, yeah. advertisement would have been green and purple. Yeah. It said, Yahoo Mountain Dew. Yeah, and they have a donkey Dew. on it and the little old guy. Yeah. Right. Somebody shooting at him. Like, I don't know why there's not more Mountain Dew stuff out there. Should be. But I can't find it. This 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 sign here came from Wiley Longworth's grocery out the road. And this one came from down at Dal Gully's old store, down down the down toward Powell Valley. So yeah, we got local pieces from just every store around here. 
You got David Ray from back and he's running for a judge. He's running for Sessions Judge, that's yeah. right, yeah. He was a judge before he was sheriff. He was judge before he was sheriff, yeah. That takes it back to about the eighties. I'd say so, yeah. And this here came from my, my little country store, too. That was a local piece that came right out the road from the, the Lone Wolf Grocery also. Where would you yeah. buy this at back in that day? From the Coke Company itself? The Coke Company would bring them and, and provide them. They yeah, would bring really? them. Yeah, they would provide them like if you needed a cooler or something yeah. like that. They would bring it and you sell their product. And, and it got their advertisement. It's out got their stuff. advertisement and everything. Yeah, they so. still kind of do that today. Yeah, they do. I mean, they do these. <laughs> <laughs> Not those kind. No. I have all in my store. Yeah, that's for sure. That is too cool. Yeah. Well, I noticed this uh, stove you, uh, a little while ago. That's interesting. I really like that. Do you know anything about it? it? It's a local piece also. It was right here on this farm, right down in the holler here on, on another part of the farm. It was an old log cabin, and that came out of it. And the, the old anvil back here at the stove, that was in hit too also. So, yeah, that's... Uh, and this cabinet, that was in the old cabin also too. So, it's a couple of local pieces and... Oh, I see something up there. Wonder how many people know what that is. Ah, you know what that is, Doug? No drive, drive in. in. Yeah. How about that? That's where it, I, I could possibly that came from. That sounded horrible back in the day. If you really got to think about <laughs> yeah. it, you put that on your window, crank it up, and yeah, had horrible sound too. I know. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, we a few drive-ins left. You play it on your radio. Yeah, do your radio. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, here's an old cigarette machine. This I remember is, these as a kid. That's got to be from the 50s at least, ain't it? This is an old uh, cigarette machine that came from uh, down at uh, Crossroads BP. It was at Don Jones's. Uh, my brother had obtained that from him, so Mike. Yeah. So he got that uh, from... Um, it must have been sitting for a while. So it's 35 cents. It had something. been sitting. Yeah, you couldn't buy a pack of cigarettes now for 35 cents. 35 well, cents. Like eight bucks now. Oh, I'd say so at least. And yeah. a machine that was always higher anyway, yeah. so yeah. I can't imagine uh, uh, 35 cents on you, cigarettes. You yeah. see why they had to get rid of these? No. Oh, yeah. Did anybody oh, go back Kids could buy them, yeah. It wouldn't matter if you had the money. Yeah, Ten-year-old, go buy a pack of cigarettes. Yeah, everybody. that's right. <laughs> Got some uh, cast iron and cast iron. Fred Thompson. Fred Nature Thompson was a U.S. senator. He's an actor, actor too. Actor, yeah. He's from Tennessee. Yeah. I like that Ronald Reagan. How cool. That's cool, yeah. Ah, man, you got some good election stuff. Yeah, we got. Man, quite stay a few, here for 18 days and look around. Quite a few items here, round and about. I was, I was wrong about this right here. This My brother came through and corrected me on this. This is from downtown Middlesbrough at the old Greyhound bus station. So, you know, that, that was not in Harrogate there. 35 cents. That still blows my mind. I, I know. About, uh, we're thinking about late 40s, 50s. 40s, 50s. Yeah, I'd say That's so. That's about the look of that because they was a lot lighter back in that day. Yeah. Uh, as they got into like the 60s and 70s and yeah. 80s, they yeah. become very stupid heavy where they didn't. I guess they were worth more than 35 cents. <laughs> right, yeah. So they made them harder to steal, I guess. Yeah. But that, that was pretty lightweight back in that day, actually. Yeah. Oh, Pat Campbell, 35 cents. My daddy <laughs> would just, just ding, ding, ding. <laughs> it's amazing. They had this little sign, this little sticker here that said, Miners are forbidden. Yeah. But what would stop them from getting them? That was I mean, suggesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just drop your 35 cents in there and get them. So. Maybe 10 year old, but I don't know. Back that day, a uh, ten-year-old done a whole lot more work than a forty-year-old does. Now. That's true. That's true. Very he true. Deserved his little thirty-five cent smoke. Yeah. Guy. So we overlooked one piece back here. We was talking about. Oh, I think okay. the shoe shine stand. Yeah. That oh, yeah. We wanted to catch it. Let's see. Rail splitter. Man, don't fit in here. Yeah, that's came from the old stone house. Thing, uh, the old shoe shine. I see. Now I think that came from. Uh, Mike, just tell us about that. That was from... That, that was at the Ike Slusher's Barbershop in Millsboro. Okay. Ike All righty. What yeah. a year, kind of. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. I had it refinished. Uh, Ed Turner worked there. That's my wife's uh, pet ball. Yeah. So I ended up with that in the, in the barber chair. Barber chair. That was Ed Turner's. That... Get first set down on it, Doug. Let me get you to see if it's it works. It's supposed to be the old motel in Middlesbrough. He said it had it refixed. Uh, <laughs> don't want to refix it again. <laughs> oh, no. I know we see a whole lot of these in the... To see where they're actually ended up, where they're supposed to be, that's neat. Yeah. I kept everything uh, original on that. Because these feet right here, they also was in like a 
she repair stores. Yeah. It's kind of the same thing, wasn't it? But you yeah. put your foot up there. <laughs> yeah. Shiny old pretty boots back in the day. Yeah. I could use it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't Looks know like you've been I, working. I just don't know whether it work or not there on that, Doug. But <laughs> you would have felt like king of the hill up here. Oh, gosh, yeah, looking down. Little man yeah. shining your boots down man. there. There's no way you could feel inferior. <laughs> Life's good, yeah. That's for sure. That's awesome, guys. Yeah, and the old barber chair. I think this was your wife's papa's chair. Yeah, that's uh, Ed, Ed Turner's. Ed Turner's. Um, he supposedly yeah. got it out of the old motel that Burton Mills were. Oh, everybody already set up here. You get the arrow view of all this luscious stuff. Yeah. Antique stuff. Well, we'll have to come back sometime when you're doing music. We can't tomorrow night, y'all doing okay. it. Okay. Or, awesome. I know, but I've got to be in rugby again tomorrow night or tomorrow rugby. all day. Yeah. Rugby, yes. Yeah, that's, that's a neat little town. I yeah, love yeah. that place. It's got some crazy history. I love it. That's that's a beautiful place. And they decorate it for Christmas. Man, how pretty. I've been there one time and done a little tour thing. Yeah. Everybody already go to the Rugby. It's where it works. Yeah, one time, that's for sure. I do I do the videos at the Orion Brooks' general store there. Have you ever been to the Orion Brooks' yeah. general store? I have not. I'd like to go. It's over 100 years old. It's original, four, four generations, family owned. It's wow. still family owned. So I've got to go check that out. It's How about a, this side of Rugby there? Yeah, it's just right outside of Rugby. Yeah, yeah. it's. I've made uh, 12 videos there over the last 18 months. Oh, and, wow. Uh, How neat. Huh? I'm 27. Uh, you get off of uh, Highway 27. It's in between Highway 27 and 127. It's in the middle of there, outside of Jamestown and Scott County. So, in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it's it's not. It's it's kind of you got to be going there. So we're going to be there this weekend. We're going to sleep in a tree house. Oh wow! With no electricity and no heat. Oh gosh! So that's that's our plans for the next two nights. <laughs> Man, you oh. nailed the right weekend instead of like last weekend, didn't you? Yeah, last weekend it was five below zero over. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's going to be a low of 48 tonight, so we might survive. But uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll have plenty of little things on my Facebook. I don't know if we can Yeah, grab okay. Them if you want or to. next time you do it, let me know. Yeah, and then I'll, I'll, I'll we'll, get in we'll, on that forever. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we'll, we'll definitely come and uh, yeah. be there. And uh, yeah. I'd like to go outside before we close out and look at some of your signs outside there Let's do one it. more time. Talk Let's about Oh yeah, that was sold in my granny, and it was in a local little uh, schoolhouse up the road up here, Poplar Grove. And these little little benches, they came from the schoolhouse up here too. Poplar Grove Schoolhouse. Poplar Grove School, yeah. It was just a little, uh, I guess first through eighth grade had one teacher for all eight grades. So yeah, but that was a flag that hung on the on the wall up there and. When they closed the school down, my mamaw got the flag and put it in a quilt. So. Oh, okay. She took the flag and, and put it in, uh, and Maybe. bordered it or sewed it into the quilt. Into I got the you. Quilt, yeah. Well, you've got all kinds. Of, look at this old ice cream scraper. Look at that, Doug. Yeah. We yeah. like ice cream, don't we? That'd be a good no, one, I tell you. I like these right here, detailed sprayers. Oh, yeah. How effective could that have been? It had to be a lot of work. Oh, it would have been a lot of work. <laughs> and these are ice scrapers that you would make snow cones. These are the two ah. that my dad used. Whenever he was uh, young, he would go to different events and homecomings, and he would make snow cones, and that's really? what he would use. That's the two he used. So. Yeah. Take homecomings and whatnot. Yeah. Homecomings was a major event. Right? Oh, it was. It was it's like, like pie suppers. Yeah, about like pie suppers when it's they still going on today. Yeah. yeah. But they're just not as people don't know. But homecomings is churches. It is. Yeah. And uh, uh, it's just basically like a dinner on the ground. Yeah. Year every church had a big homecoming. They were major events back in the day. Yeah. Big crowds would come to it. Just not the, it, mostly the community a lot. Right. Yeah. But it just not just the people there at that church. Everybody right. came. Everybody to came. Yeah. From the whole community. Yeah. yeah. All the other churches that's would it. come too. Hey, they would come. That's come. right. Yeah. <laughs> Here, yeah. sir. So you bought this, Michael, at, uh, and redone it. Yes, had it redone. Uh, had, had the barbershop shut down? Yeah. It shut down. shut down. Yeah. Did you buy it while it's still in the barbershop? No, I got it from Doug Campbell. He had a pawn shop, I guess, in Millsville. Okay, it was in a pawn shop you found it. How about that? You yeah, went in? It was underneath uh, the pawn shop in the basement. In the basement. You, you rescued it. Yeah. How you about that? that would have been, what, 50s, kind of, back in this operation? Probably was 50s. 50s, yeah. Back in the head of black, with a big nose, watching with long tails. Yeah, yeah. Maybe someone's a drawer, sir. I don't know. 
There's the shoe shine stuff in there, right? Ah, we don't break it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's in that one. Let me find a rat's, ah, find a rat's nest there. in there, too. So. Yeah. Got a shoe shine, saddle soap. How you got it all? You a Dapper Dan man. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's, 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 that's what Doug needs on his shoes. That, that steel brush. That's, that's true. And where did this sign come from, Doug? I think I got that from you. Yeah, Claiborne County. Yeah, that you bought that off me. I and this you. sign was featured on the Shop Shop. That's right. An episode that we we bought it in Marvel. Yeah. And we got back to Claiborne County, and uh, it's where it come from, Claiborne County. It came County. from Claiborne, and somehow or another it wound up down mm -hmm. there. And then it came back home. Yeah. So production credit used to be in Tazewell, right there, close to the Frosty Freeze. That little round buildings where it used to the sign hung there on the building. And it came from Claiborne County, and I sold it to Claiborne County because he won't sell it. Trust me, <laughs> I couldn't even buy it back from him. <laughs> but but that's a, a got a little TV time on that camera on that sign yeah, we there. Got a little promotion, huh? Yeah, yeah that swap shop. Swap shop. Yeah. yeah. What you got around here? Oh, we got. That's an old sign there. That one there came from a friend of mine down the valley. Ah. But this one here came from my store. My original, the original. store right here. Yeah. Mitchell Coffee's Grocery. Came from the RC Cola Company. I bet you felt like a man at Treadin' Road. I was. I was a man <laughs> in, in the community. Yeah, at that time. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. Seven Up, that's Seven cool Seven Up, that came from uh, uh, some of my, I guess my ancestor's store of Gully's groceries down in Riverside. And that that is a from Tazewell area there. That really, Duff sign did. That's a high daughter sign right there. That's a good one there. It's been shot yeah, a few times, that's but what everybody wants. Mm. Yeah, it's been that double sided. It's double sided. It's double -sided yeah, sided. Ah. it came from uh, Tazewell, but yeah, it looks like it's been used a lot. Maybe slitted with. They so got his dire, slid. and uh, you don't see them. Yep. Uh, it's a good sign right there. This one here is an, it's rusted a lot, but what, it's Pepsi? Still a Pepsi sign. I always the, thought that was the coolest sign. Yeah. It had that ice on the side of it. That came from um, Granny Ray's old store over here in Ford Ridge. Ah. So, yeah, that came off the side of her building, her store. That would have been even, I think the advertisement there was like the 60s. Yeah, that was been the right 60s, yeah. Taste that beats the Others other cold. cold. Yeah. Wow. The cool sign. That's the original sign, too. That's the original sign. I want to think that may have came from Mainerville. I got that off in a, a guy that owns a pharmacy there in Blaine, uh, Will Bunch. Yeah. I believe I remember seeing the sign down there in Mainerville. Yeah. He had there, a couple it's along the highway right there on 25, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, he had a couple of them, and he let us have that one. That's a very heavy sign, That's too. a heavy sign. Porcelain. We like to never got that up there, but it's, uh, it's very heavy. Yeah. Very sought after sign yeah. right there. All right, guys, I really want to say thanks to Mitchell and his brother, Michael. They they have been working on this together. Michael showed up in the middle of while we was filming, so you didn't see him at the first of it. But uh, you have done a great job mm -hmm. preserving the old country stores, the general stores, the grocery stores, all the different equipment and signs and, and memorabilia mm -hmm. that they've used. And you bought some of it from your buddy here, Doug. And uh, I just want to say thanks to you for letting us come out. You're and, welcome. Uh, He's been you. a great customer for years. Oh, I'm telling you. It's uh, fun. You too, he come out to the store about 12 o'clock every day. Every day. Right <laughs> on the dot. Make sure, yeah, My lunch yeah, hour. Yeah, to make sure uh, anything new come in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But everybody come to Pickers Paradise. Cause if you want to build a place like this, just, if we can make it happen for you. That's right. They got uh, about how many vendors are there now, Doug? 50, 50 around it. Plus yeah. you have a bunch. Yeah, I'm covered over big spots of it. Uh, and we're uh, if we got about 20,000 more square feet, we're going to try to develop in spring. Spring. So that puts us up somewhere to about close to 60. So the, that's a, that's a new tassel. Yep. That's the, the, the old tobacco warehouse, yep. and it's called the Pickers Paradise. Pickers Paradise Vintage. Vin uh, Mile. Antique, <laughs> Mile. Antique Mile. Vintage. Yeah. It's called Pickers Paradise Antiques Vendors Market. Yeah, yeah Vendors Market. Market. I just own the place. I don't know where to <laughs>
<laughs> you don't work so out I, the details. I have a booth there too. I've not been yeah. up there to check it. I've been busy, mm -hmm. so uh, I sell t-shirts there. So if you're in there, mm -hmm. look for some t-shirts, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to be uh, back filming there here before too long at the at the warehouse. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just want to thank you for watching. Make sure to leave the Cosby Brothers a, a, a thank you for the work they put yeah. in to preserving this history, and thank you for letting us come yeah. see it today. Good thank local you. historian. We got to have these people right yes, here. Yes, uh -huh. absolutely. We'll see y'all next time. Bye. Thanks.